the only thing I really stress about today in this career is AI because it's doing so much, <laughs> yeah, it's doing so yeah. many things. You know, um, I, I stress about that on one side and the practical side of me goes, hey, they can do that all they want to, but at the, same, at the end of the day, this is still a people business, you know, and they still gotta have yeah. people, so you're gonna have to have boots on the ground. Uh, you're still gonna have to have those things. And so it's gonna be a while before we go away. And hopefully it doesn't happen before I retire in the next five years, but we'll see what happens. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. This video is sponsored by Hag Education. Use code Adjuster TV to get a 15% discount on damage assessment, CE training, industry certifications, books, and tools at HagEducation.com. You can have that one chance where you just boom, you make a whole bunch of money in a short period of time. You weren't, you, you were at the right place at the right time, but then you, you, it goes away. And you got to figure out how to find it again. Those, those situations happen, but as you have a, you know, as you start making money, you start making consistent money, you figure out how to do it. You continue to do it. And the stresses go away about where the money's going to come from. You know, you know what I stress yeah. about today in this, in this career, the only thing I really stress about today in this career is AI because it's doing so much, <laughs> yeah. it's doing so yeah. many things, you know, um, I, I stress about that on one side and the practical side of me goes, hey, they can do that all they want to, but at the, same, at the end of the day, this is still a people business, you know, and they're still going to have yeah. people, so you're going to have to have boots on the ground. Uh, you're still going to have to have those things. And so it's going to be a while before we go away. And hopefully it doesn't happen before I retire in the next five years, but we'll see what happens. But uh, <sighs> that's what it takes. I mean, yeah. what does is, what is six figures feel like? It's good. It's, it feels good. And the more you do it, the easier it is. That's it. Yeah, the, your first yeah. hundred thousand dollars is the hardest. The next one after that's the hardest. After that is, it's easier it's just, after that because you you've seen the landscape. It's just like the first claim you do is the hardest claim you'll ever do, and every claim after that gets easier. It really is. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's exactly the hardest right. you'll ever do, and then you know, um, it the first you know, it's like you know the first large loss you do. Okay, if you ever get the experience to do that, I don't know. I got my first fire loss. I freaked out. I absolutely, I just like, what are they doing? I, I don't know what I'm doing here. And uh, that was when I was in New Mexico. That was in Albuquerque. I was like, oh my gosh, what am I yeah. going to do? This, and I'm sitting there, I, I'll never forget. I'm working on this thing and I'm trying to get this thing done. And I'm freaking out about it. I've met with the homeowner. I'm asking them questions about the house, the features of the house. They're giving me some pictures. We sat down together and kind of drew the floor plan together and trying to make it work. And then I get a phone call from the desk adjuster. Hey, James, where are we at on this? I said, man, I said, I've been working on this estimate. I said, I'm up to this much now, but this thing's a total loss. He goes, oh, man, if it's a total loss, man, just give me a one-liner on it because this is a policy limit state. If the house is a total loss, we have to pay policy limits. And I'd spent like hours, hours on this thing. But guess what? <laughs> next, time I got a total, next time I got a total loss in New Mexico, I knew what to do. <laughs> yep. It yeah. became easier. And so then, you know, and since then I've yeah. done them in other, in other states and other, you know, other companies. And the, the first one's the hardest one. The second one's easy. So. Yep. For sure. For sure. Commercial board, same way. You know, it's, and, uh, you know, kind of the, I think the final thing we will, I'll say on this anyway, is that, yes, it, it, it makes, it, it can reduce stress and anxiety because it, it, it reduces the level of where you're like, your monthly commitments are pressing on you, right? If you're like, oh, well, I got, I got the money already. It's no problem. I'll just pay that bill. That, that makes a person that, that reduces stress. The key thing is with, with, with making any amount of money, um, but in particular making more money is that you're going to earn it, Right. You're gonna. You have to. You have to work your tail off to to make six figures. You really do. I mean, and when you get there, part of the satisfaction of 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 hitting that 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 milestone is that you did. You look back and you say, "Man, I really, really, truly earned this." Now I can look back at, at what I did to get here, and I can see places where I could be more efficient, where I could develop other relationships, so on and so forth. And you can tweak for the next year, and you know, more and more. It'll, it'll be less and less about, well, is there something huge on the news that everybody's going to, right? And it's more about like something pops up in Abilene, Kansas, you know, a little tiny town, and it's you and one other person, right, going on that storm um, and getting the, the little things that always happen. In my 20 years, 
I always I always work tail every single summer, every summer. It didn't matter because it's absolutely dead for everybody else or it was going gangbusters. I was always working somewhere and I didn't need to work every storm or every huge storm or whatever. I just needed to have claims. And I did. And it was a matter of um, once I kind of saw started to see the matrix, then I was able to um, really, really drill down and focus on the things that I knew were going to move the needle the most for me in being efficient, being good, being friendly, always saying yes, always being available, not ever saying, oh, well, you know, Meemaw's birthday is, you know, in five days and I really got to be there for that because, you know, I missed last year's and so I got to say no to this deployment. You know, I'm, I was, I'm like, sorry, Meemaw, can't go. Um, right. And, that, and one final thing I'll say actually is, is that the total loss claims, um, if you're taking, if you're the kind of person that we're telling you to be in these conversations and, and you're, you're the kind of person that says yes, no matter what they say that they need you to do, um, then you're going to have, you have a lot more opportunities to gain experience. And when you do get a total loss claim, whether it's in a total loss state where you can one line it or you got to do evaluation, you got to do it, your stick build it or whatever. If you've got a, a claims experience under your belt already, that is going to be a lot easier. You may still be like, oh boy, I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I may have a freak out about this because this is, all, I mean, it looks huge in the home or ALE, all these other coverages come into play, right? But if you've got experience under your belt because you didn't, you weren't turning down work that the, the firms were offering you to try to get you on the boards, if you weren't doing that and you were taking that work, then you're going to be in a much better position to feel more comfortable when you do get those bigger claims and to get those, those bigger responsibilities. There you go. Exactly. Coming up on Adjuster TV. 